Hello everybody and welcome back to Grand Bazaar. It's late at night on the 11th. I planned to start my day tomorrow morning, but I caught wind of a hard event and I figured we would just kind of start with that and then go to bed and go into our day tomorrow. So we'll get to see our first heart event with Freya. I was choosing which tea to drink with dinner tonight. Do you come to this cafe often? I actually do, yeah. I mean, I think I do. I'm here almost every day. <laughs> Same here, I love this place. After work in the city, I come here to eat and chat with people. It's a nice way to unwind at the end of the day. I'm glad that you like spending time here too. <laughs> it was nice talking to you. Bye now. Now I could definitely get as much affection with her as possible because she's probably the one that I run into the least just based on the fact that she goes out of town and she works out of town and she's not usually in until late. So we're gonna be going to bed pretty late here because I've got to finish planting or watering rather Watering all the stuff that I've planted, I actually have a full field right now. I've used up every single square on the field. So I have got a lot of watering to do each day now. But being able to use your bathroom and your restroom multiple times a day really does make a huge difference. And so here we are now with the meat and potatoes of what I wanted this video to really be about, which is the final results for our flower festival. This is actually a really neat festival because it takes place over a five day span. It starts at noon on the Sunday and ends at noon today. And in that span of time, you have to give out a total of 50 flowers to win. Now, I warned everybody right from day one, save, save, save. Do not give those flowers away. Keep them for this festival. So I have absolutely no doubt that I've won. I did not have a problem giving out the 50 and now we just have to wait until noon to hear the results so we'll go ahead and do some farm work first you can see that I have been very very busy off screen planting turnips which is exactly what I said that I was going to do I said that I was going to become a very, very efficient turnip farmer, and that I did. We have a bazaar coming up in a few days from now, so it's excellent that I have almost an entirely full field of turnips. And that row that's directly to my right also looks like it's going to be ready before our bazaar as well. So I'll go ahead and pick these since I have some time to kill. And then while we're in town for the festival, we'll have to swing by and grab some more seeds to replant everything. It has been a lot of work to do all of these turnips. But 
But, I mean, I think ultimately worth it. I think if I carry on with that work ethic, then we hopefully won't run into too many weeks where we're really, really struggling. Where we don't have any money. We don't have enough money to buy seeds. We don't have anything to sell at the bazaar. I am just really hoping that as much of a pain as it can sometimes be, that I can just carry on like that and keep the momentum going. So now I guess while we wait, we will just grab what we can and go and give out any flowers remaining since we do have some time before the announcement. Hey, Lloyd. Have a flower. People get here at 9 o'clock in the morning, and then they stay all day <laughs> after the festival. They get here real early. They don't want to miss out, I guess. This whole town is just full of very punctual people. But it gives me a good opportunity to give people their flowers, so I guess I shouldn't complain. The only person you can't give a flower to on this day is Felix. I think he'll just sort of tell you Hey, you need to wait until noon to talk to me to get the results. But you can give him flowers the other days of the festival when he's not doing the announcements. And then don't forget about Raul. Now, I think when I initially did the video, for the beginning of the festival, he was the one person that I didn't talk to or give flowers to, but he is a part of the village. I think he kind of gets forgotten about. You do have to go behind the counter for speaking to him to technically count. And I think giving him flowers is a good thing because I don't have any decent gifts for him. The only person who's still in their house right now is Antoinette. She's not in a hurry. Good for her. Her father has been there like since the gathering began. You can see everybody kind of arrives at a different time. And I've run out of flowers now, so it's pretty much just time for me to sit back and wait for the announcement. <laughs> Go ahead and buy the turnips that I need. And I still have enough money in my wallet to replace the turnips that I just harvested. So that's good. Sometimes you'll harvest a batch and then you won't have sold them at the bazaar yet and you won't have the money to replace your seeds. So I always try and make sure I have a little bit of money left over when I finish the bazaar. It's not always possible, but so far, knock on wood, we have been lucky in that regard. And it hasn't been an issue. I figured I would just check around anything last minute that I can give out, but I think the flower well has dried up. Now, I don't need to be there right at noon, so 
I guess now that I'm back at the farm, I could plant everything and then go to the festival. I will be fashionably very late, since I will be the one and only person that they're waiting for. And I'll probably just water and fertilize these off screen. I'm gonna try to kind of cut out the fat and the repetitiveness of some of this if I can. You've all watched me harvest water and re-sow seeds, so I will spare you the watering and the fertilizing. And I will get all that done later on in the day after the flower festival. Let's go and hear the results. I'm ready, Felix. Thank you all for coming. And now to announce the person who gave out the most flowers. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is... Me! Yes, congratulations! I did it! I was the most generous and also the most humble. Thank you for putting a smile on everyone's face. And my thanks to everyone for making this a great flower festival. So now if you talk to everybody, they'll just give you their congratulations on winning. I kind of wish it was like the bazaar where they had a top three, because I would be interested to see exactly how many flowers I gave out. Because it was certainly more than 50. And if you manage to be the winner of this festival, you will gain a thousand friend points with all of the attendees. And if you don't win, say you've participated but you've just kind of not been paying too much attention, you would still get 500 friend points with everybody just for taking part in it. <laughs> so it's kind of nice because not only is this sort of a unique multi-day festival, but you get a decent amount of friendship with everybody because you also get friendship for starting the festival. And I just love festivals that you can win, especially in your first year because there's a fair amount of festivals that don't even show up on our calendar or that do show up on our calendar but we can't take part in during our first year. Spring actually has a lot of festivals compared to some of the other seasons. Summer is going to be very very dull in that regard. So I kind of like the idea of this festival. I think it's fun. I think it's unique. And as a matter of fact, we have another festival coming up on Saturday before pushing our bazaar to the Sunday. It'll be the only Sunday bazaar that we have in this season. But I will only have one day to play in between videos. And all that I've really been up to, all that I've really been doing is just the routine. The same stuff that I've been doing since the first week. Turnips, turnips, turnips. But I can do a little bit more socializing, I think, if I want to. Oh, hey, cool, an ore stone. 
figured I would do some swimming here. And remember that after the flower festival ends, not everybody will be happy about receiving all the different kinds of flowers. There are some villagers that don't like flowers at all. So you just want to be careful when you're giving them out from this point forward. And it's kind of up to you what you want to do. You can continue to give them out as gifts or sometimes it's nice to use them as a bit of supplemental income at your bazaar. I would recommend keeping a couple around also to use in your boss if you're somebody that has been smelling the flowers every day for some stamina recovery like I have. But we are not even halfway through the season, so all of that stuff will come in due time. I'll get more advanced relationships with people. I'll do some more gift giving and you still have tons and tons of time to get more flowers to give out if that's what you've been giving out. And spring is really great because they have both blue and yellow flowers, which means that most of the villagers will appreciate getting it as a gift because all the characters have one of three favorite colors in this game being blue, red, or yellow. And they will enjoy receiving a flower that is their favorite color. All right. Well, it's 5 p.m. So now is probably a really good time for me to get going on watering and fertilizing my crops and just sort of finishing out my day. I don't think there's really much else that I want or need to say. It's just been a very nice sort of routine time that I've been having and hopefully when I come back on the 14th, we'll have a little bit more to chat about. This is our first sort of romantic festival coming up, so that should be exciting. I'm going to play off screen for a little while and then I will be back very, very soon. Thank you all so very much for watching and I hope that I will see you next time.